This is Orion, our first fully functioning prototype. And if I do say so, the most advanced glasses the world has ever seen. Now, about a decade ago, I, uh, you know, I started putting together a team of the best people in the world to, uh, to build these glasses. And the, the requirements are actually pretty simple. But the technical challenges to make them are insane. Um, you know, they, they need to be glasses. They're not a headset, no wires, less than 100 grams. Uh, they need wide field of view, holographic displays, sharp enough to pick up details, <laughs> bright enough to see in different lighting conditions, large enough to display a cinema screen or multiple monitors for working wherever you go, whether you're, you're in a coffee shop or on a plane or wherever you are. And you need to be able to see through them. And people need to be able to see that through them too and make eye contact with you. Right? This isn't pass-through. This is the physical world with holograms overlaid on it. So if someone messages you, uh, you will see that. And instead of having to pull out your phone, there will just be a little hologram and with a few subtle gestures, you can reply without getting pulled away from the moment. Or if you want to be with someone who is far away, um, they're going to be able to teleport as a hologram into your living room as if they're right there with you. You're going to be able to tap your fingers and bring up a game of cards or chess or holographic ping pong or whatever it is that you want to do together. You can work or play or whatever. Building this display is different from every other screen that you have ever used. And that is because it is not actually a screen. Um, it is a completely new kind of display architecture with these tiny projectors and the arms of the glasses that shoot light into waveguides that have you know, nanoscale 3D structures etched into the lenses so they can diffract light and put holograms at different uh, depths and sizes into the world in front of you. And all of that is directed by custom silicon and sensors that we designed and powered by a battery that fits in the arm of the glasses. It is a absolutely incredible amount of technology to be able to miniaturize and fit into a pair of glasses and a small puck that goes with it to help power the whole thing. My God. Ah. Wow. Whoa. Oh, that is insane. The weight of this is just such a game changer. It's comfortable. Yep. A hundred grams is a deal. deal. This is a big deal. Wow, it's super sleek already. This side and no cable. Yeah. I mean, that's freedom. Really? Nice. Yeah. Oh. Your Kodak avatars. He is uh, 3D. Yeah. That's nuts. Can you wink at me? No way. The multitasker in me is loving this. This is pretty crazy that I can do four things at once. The head tracking is good. The brightness is good. The color contrast is good. The field of view is excellent. I see it oh. super clear. <laughs> it's crazy responsive. Learning with these will be amazing. Like piano, yeah. piano would be yeah. insane. Amazing. This, right? yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> this is like breaking the four minute mile. It's so fast. Tracking is extremely good. Such good sound design too. Wow, and, and she's so clear. When this became the television, that became the radio. Yep. When this, that's what's coming next. Yeah. This is the coolest thing. So cool. That's cool. This game is so fun. I am not going to lose this game. <laughs> I'm playing with a 3D avatar. I see you're very focused now. Yeah, very focused. You really do kind of feel like like a superhero, like a new new sense, new dimension. Wow. wow. This this can be just a whole new world.
Hey, are live demos hey. risky? Live demos can be risky, yes. They can be unpredictable, prone to technical issues, and potentially embarrassing. However, they can also be engaging, All right. memorable. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Go for it. Just be prepared for anything to happen. Fingers crossed. Thanks, Aquafina. Now Meta AI can natively understand images as well as text. Now we're using this new capability to build some features that, that I, I haven't seen anyone else build. I mean, this is, this is pretty interesting and novel stuff. Creative tools that we're adding to Imagine Edit. It lets you upload any photo and edit it precisely um, with natural language in Meta AI across the apps. My family loves this. We spend a lot of time taking photos and making them more ridiculous.